Hey guys, today we're chatting with actor, writer, and comedian Adam Sandler and comedic writer, director Robert Smigel from the new Netflix animated musical comedy, Leo. And joining me today are my own lizards, Gecko's Spots and Bertha. Leo is about a 74-year-old lizard named Leo who has been stuck in the same classroom of an elementary school in Florida for decades. When he learns he only has one year left to live, he plans to escape to experience life on the outside, but instead gets caught up in the problems of his anxious students and a mean substitute teacher. Hey, Jet. Hello. Uh, thank you so much for talking with me today. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I have a guest here. One of my geckos, Big Bertha. That's a beautiful. Uh, yeah, how you doing, Bertha? Bertha. Bertha that, that's a that's a beautiful lizard. That's incredible. Uh, uh, Bertha sleeps in the be in the bedroom with you at night. Yeah, I have a, his own pillow and everything. He has a little blanket that I tuck him in at every day. Ah, oh, man, that's so sweet. It, 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 how how long has he uh, has Bertha had that blanket? A while. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just got her. That's that's <laughs> tremendous. That much. Bertha lo looks like you two are best friends. I love that. Speaking of my pet, uh, do you have any pets that you had growing up that may have like? set an example of Leo and you wish you could have like spoke to or saying that? Oh, that's a good question. I had a snake when I was young. Younger than you, I had a king snake named Ralph. And he was, he was a very good friend of mine for a long time. I don't remember ever talking to him or getting advice from him, but I remember telling the mice I would feed him sorry. I would always say sorry to those mice. <laughs> <laughs> I would love a snake, but my dad's not a fan of mice. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you feed Bertha? Uh, I feed him like different types of worms. Worms? Kind of like, oh, I see. How, how, many, time, how many times a day? day? Do you have to feed it worms like uh, every day or once a week? Every or? other day. Every other day. Gotcha. Gotcha. How much does your personality show, Leo? Well, just the uh, old and chubby part. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I can be very Leo-ish at times. I like talking to people. I, I like talking, ha trying to help out, have a good time. I like having a good time. Leo likes having a good time, right? I'm sure Bertha does too. What's going on there? Another? Yeah, this is my other one. Spots. Whoa. What's, what's that one's name? Spots. Spot. Ooh, a lot of spots. Good to see you, Spot. Right on. And Bertha and Spot get along well? I have two different cages for them for a reason. <laughs> That's funny, man. You, Jet, Jet, you want to see my lizard? I'll be right back. Hang on one sec. Come here. I'm coming, Jet. Come here. Come here. Right. Okay, I got him. I got him. Bagel, say hi to Jet. Yeah. Okay, all right, good lizard. That's one of those big lizards from uh, New York. Do you think if Spots, or at least for Big Bertha right now, if she, if she could talk, what do you think she would sound like? Well, Bertha's voice would be a little bit more, you know, strong. I, I see this volume, like, yeah, baby! Something like that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, baby! Thank you so much for... Wait, I want to say what Spot would sound like. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Spot! Oh my God! Spot would have a very sweet voice, very soft and soft spoken, but looks like you can't, you... Spot seems like uh, Spot can escape pretty quick too, huh? Yes. Yes, I can see that. Uh, thank you so much for talking with me today. Yeah. And also a quick congratulations to the new Leo balloon that is going to <laughs> be shown in the Thanksgiving Macy's Parade. You, I appreciate everything you're saying, Jet. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, love you, you, buddy. You're very nice. I wish you luck and say hi to your family. <laughs> okay. Later, Jet. Take care. Bye. Bye. Never heard the word enough. Hi, Robert. Thanks for chatting with me today. I'm Jet. Hi, Jet. Good to meet you. So, as a future herpetologist, the study of reptiles is very important to me. Did you do any research on lizards or iguanas to make this movie? Maybe, like, how they act? A little bit of research on lizards and iguanas in terms of what they eat, 
and uh, how long they live and what type of lizards uh, live in terrariums more and uh, that kind of thing or ones that are in Florida. But mostly we just took a character and, you know, made him a lizard. You know, <laughs> we imagined what any class pet who's been cooped up in a terrarium in the same room, the same classroom for 74 years would be like, you know, if he could talk. He'd be like, I've seen this kind of kid. I've seen that kind of kid. Here we go. There's another kid who should have stayed home because he's sick. You know, that kind of thing. So growing up, did you ever have a pet or animal that you wish that you wished you could have like have talked to you or seen songs to you? Yes. I uh I had a cat growing up. I loved my cat very, very much. And and then then we switched and got a dog. And for some reason, dogs are so expressive. You know, cats are kind of cool looking and reserved. Dogs are really expressive and they've got this, they just want to connect with you. So when I had a dog, that's when I really felt like the dog was talking all the time. And I created this voice. I have another dog puppet that I can't, I didn't bring <laughs> today named Triumph. And he talks like this all the time because my parents and grandparents were from Russia. So somehow I made them Russian, my dog. But dogs just are so needy, you know, and it's like, please feed me. I want to eat. Let's go out. Let us play. That kind of thing. And um, yeah, so, but yes, I wish I could have had a, a pet who I could have told all my problems to. That would have been amazing. Yeah. Speaking of Triumph. Yeah. Have, um, have like voicing that character, did that like inspire you to make this movie? No, this movie came out of a different idea. And um Yes, Triumph has inspired me to do many, many silly things. But uh, Triumph is his own thing. Triumph is like a dog who's also a nightclub entertainer. He's in show business. Leo is just a guy who's been trapped in his terrarium for 75 years. And you just wonder about a class pet just sitting there all year. Like, is he bored? Would he like to be out in the wild? What's he thinking, you know? And in this case, I imagine that Leo has just been watching very carefully, watching every kid, <laughs> learning about every kid. This girl's too popular. She thinks she's better than everyone. This guy was held back from fourth grade, and now he's a bully because he's insecure about not being smart, you know? And uh, it just really made me laugh, the idea that this lizard would be smarter than anyone in the room because he he's just sitting back and watching. Um, well, thank you so much for chatting with me today. It's been awesome. And yeah, thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Good luck with your show. Well, that's going to do it for our interviews with actor Adam Sandler and director Robert Smuggle for the new Netflix animated musical comedy, Leo. Catch it when it releases November 21st. You're going to love it. Before you go, please support our channel and hit the like button and subscribe button. And please feel free to share this video if you enjoyed it. Spot and Bertha will appreciate it too. This was an excellent movie and we'll appreciate the likes and comments. Yeehaw. For On The Scene Adventures, I'm Jet. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, today we're trading with... Yeah. Hey guys, today we're trading... Today we're chatting with actor, writer, and chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> hey guys, today we're chatting with actor, writer, and comedian Adam Shan. <laughs> <laughs>